a book by Joseph Nies Gorda, The Lennon Prophecy, a new examination of the dead clues of the Beatles. So just Lennon, desperate to be more famous than Elvis, made a pact with unholy forces in exchange for success. The other is a first generation Beatles fan, has read every book out on the rock group and admits his conflict with the love of the music and the evil that he perceives surrounds it. His book, a 15 year project, was an effort, he said, to try to define or make sense of that evil. Throughout the book he certainly implicates the whole group as linked to the occult. Nies Gouda start his book with the well-known remark Lennon made to his friend Tony Sheridan in the mid-1960s, I sold my soul to the devil. In the next chapters he goes on to show how this nobody group of British miscreants rose to fame. It is explained by a pact John Lennon made with the devil for fame and fortune. When was the pact made? Nisgoda pinpoints the date, December 27, 1960, the night the Beatles played at the Town Hall Ballroom in Lederland, England. Lennon was a 20-year-old wannabe rock star in a mediocre band, not so different from so many others at the time. He was desperate to be more famous than Elvis. Desperate enough to sell his soul to the devil, Nisgoda contends. During that performance, Nisgoda reports, the Beatles awoke a response noticeably different from anything in their past. As they played, the crowd unexpectedly surged onto the stage and the girls started to scream. It had never happened before, but it would always happen afterward. It was the birth of Beatlemania. All four have noted this night as the turning point in their careers. Nisgoda also says that this gig marks the beginning of the Lennon avowedly antichrist behavior. From biographers of Lennon, he presents many profane acts Lennon carried out publicly with no apparent purpose but to blaspheme Christ. Twenty years later, on December 8, 1980, Mark David Chapman fired five shots from a revolver at Lennon in front of the Dakota building in New York where Yoko and John had an apartment, on the same floor, by the way where Rosemary's baby was filmed. Lennon died shortly afterward. If John had entered into a 20-year pact with the devil for wealth and war fame, that contract ended that day with his violent death. Mark Chapman would later claim he was instructed to kill Lennon by a voice in his head that kept insisting, do it, do it, do it. Five years later, at the Attica State Prison, Chapman asked for an exorcism to be made by a priest. He said he was delivered from five or six demons. Much of the book is an examination of the clues, left by the Beatles themselves on the album covers and in the music clues that point to ties with the occult and the theory that Lennon knew the time and place of his death. To demonstrate his thesis, he follows a well-documented trail of sorcery, mysticism, numerology, backwards masking and anagrams. He claims that clues foretelling the death of Lennon are revealing in album covers, such as Rubber Soul, Yesterday and Today, a collection of Beatles oldies, Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Heart School Band, Yellow Submarine, Magical Mystery 2, Abbey Road as well as Lennon's solo album Imagine and Walls and Bridges. The author also finds many clues in lyrics that also reveal the mysterious predictions of Lennon's death and connections to the devil. Songs often came to Lennon in dreams and usually became major hits. It's why he always kept a pad of paper and pencil nearby. In one of Lennon's last songs, Help Me To Help Myself, he could well have been revealing he realized that his time was running out. The song began, well I try so hard to stay alive, but the angel of destruction keeps on hounding me all around, but I know in my heart that we never really parted, oh no. In the final moments of the song, Lennon can be heard talking in a faint voice saying, I see, I see, that's how you're gonna do it, is it? Okay. I see, I see, that's how you're going to do it, hun, okay? 
Nies Godin insists there is nothing in this book that is not already in the public domain. Did this really happen the way some are saying it did? You decide. Smoke. I'd like to say thank you on behalf of the group and ourselves. I hope we pass the audition. <laughs> Juju, get back, get together. 